Hey guys, it's Carly, and I will be teaching you how to make the awesome Rainbow Loom Swizzle Twist bracelet made by Olivia's Looms and Crafts. Huge shout out, I uh, love you. I found out um, your videos. You, um, the first video I saw of yours was. Give me a second. Okay, it was a raindrop when I found you out. So let's just get to the materials. Let's get to the material. The material. They accidentally keep hitting done instead of stop. So yeah, let's just do it. Get to it. Let's just get to the tutorial again. Okay, so once you have your arrow spreading away from you and have it set up in your original position, you're going to take your border colors. So I'm going to start with a gray. And you're going to place it from the center peg out to the left. And then I'm just going to push it down. And then I'm going to take, oops, another gray rubber band and I will be placing it from the center peg here over to the right. Sorry about my terrible nails. My nail polish is coming off. Yeah. So I'm just going to push that down. And next you're going to take your border color again and just put it straight. And then again, over on the right, straight. And then I'm going to push them down. And the reason I don't voice over is because with the app I have for voiceover, you can't hear if you were talking or not. So if I said like bye by accident instead of being quiet, I would have said like bye bye, something like that, and it sounds really bad. So you're just going to keep going straight up on both sides like this all the way to this peg and stop. So see you in a second. Okay, now I'm back. Once you have all your rubber bands up to here, we're going to take the same color. You're going to go from your left peg over to the middle peg and just push that down. The glare is kind of bad. And there, here you go, a little bit. And then take it from here, from the right peg over to the middle peg. And now you have the overall border. And now we are going to do the inside of the bracelet. So let's get to that part. Okay, so you can mix two colors together, like um, red and orange, but I will just be doing one color together. So you're going to take your first two and put it from the middle pin out to the, hold on, make it at a better angle, there we go, out to the right, I mean out to the left, sorry, middle out to the left. And then I'm gonna take, yeah, sorry. You just take two of your next color, two bands, always taking double bands. And you're gonna place it from this peg to this peg. Sorry if I accidentally say peg. I just watched the tutorial on this and she accidentally said pig a few times and she didn't even know it and then her mom spotted it. Okay, so now I'm gonna, now you're gonna start like the actual swizzle. So you're going to take your third color or whatever color you're using and you're going to place it from that peg into the center peg here. 
like this. And then I'm just going to push this down. And just like push all of them down. And then I'm going to take my light green and place it from this peg out here. So this is the pattern that you will be repeating except for you'll start on this side. So I will repeat, I will just do this side and then you'll repeat the other side. So I'm just taking a darker green and placing it straight forward like we had done here, straight forward. And then we had diagonaled in, so that's what we're going to do next. Take two rubber bands and go up to that center peg there. You don't want to go back, you just want to go up. And with clear bands, it looks really cool. Or there's like glitter cleary bands, like here the clear band. Glitter bands, it looks really cool, but I won't be making it for this tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to take the um, metallic glittery type of bands. Uh, sorry, it's stuck on my thumb. And I'm just going to take two from from that middle peg out to this peg. And then you're going to repeat what you did over in your first step. I'm just like um, twisting them a little bit. Let's see how you went out, out, and then you'll just go up and then diagonal. So go ahead and do that. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I am on the last part. And then you're just going to go out here but you don't want to go up and now that you have it looking kind of like all zigzaggy you're going to turn your loom around okay hold on I want to make sure you do this give me one second okay sorry I just needed to look it up to make sure I was right and I wasn't so you actually need to take one more set of rubber bands from that peg out to your center peg. And if you started from the right, it will be fine. It will just be a little different because you'll place it from here to here. here and then instead of over here, this band over here would be over here. So yeah. Now the last placing of rubber bands is pushing this down and then making your cap band. Okay, and then if you just make it on your fingers, you just put it right there. And now let's start hooking this bracelet. Okay, to start this, I need to place my camera in a better position. So give me one. Oops. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. My camera just like flipped out on me. Wait, is that? Oh my gosh. Give me one second again. Okay, there we go. So, now you're going to reach inside your cat band here and take your two um, swizzle twist color bands, which mine ended up being green. Here, I'm gonna take this and pull it out to this peg. I'm gonna pull back and only take these other green swizzle twist bands. You don't want to take your outer color rubber bands or your perimeter bands. Okay, I'm gonna take this up to the center, and the center is easier to hook because. There's not a bunch of rubber bands in the middle. So now I'm going to take this and hook it up here. And if you forget one, that's easy to fix. You just pull back. Oops. Just pull back and take that rubber band and pull it there. 
Okay, and now I'm going to reach inside here, grab those rubber bands, and bring them up here. I will just be hooking this whole thing with you because it is easy and easy. After I do it for you, I'll only have a little bit left and the video won't be so long. I'm just going to take this up over to this peg. Let me, there we go, perfect view. Okay, I just adjusted the stand on my camera so it's a better angle. So now you're going to pull back again. Grab, you're always going to pull back the bands. You're going to grab these. Meta these metallic bands are harder to pull, so as I pull, I like to kind of lightly stretch and then wrap them around. And these are actually on camera. These look more like dark purple, but they are lighter, and I will show you without some, like, without the light which glares on them to show you the color if you want it. But it's actually pretty close. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pull back all the hold on. Got stuck on my purple band. So I'm just going to pull back. And if you're afraid you'll grab the your gray bands or whatever you use for the outside, just hook one at a time. So now that I have done that. I'm just going to hook it forward, and then now I'll just be quiet, and you can watch me. Okay, and you're just going to keep hooking till the end, it's just I'm running out of storage space.